I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a brand new smart list using Smart List Builder and a SQL view. There are so many great GP bloggers out there in the internet these days. And one that I go to often is Victoria Uden. Victoria writes a lot about GP, and specifically, she also includes a lot of SQL query language in her blogs to show you how you can easily get information out of GP and make good use of it. I came across this blog article today. You can see Victoria's URL there is victoriauden.com. And this particular blog caught my interest. It's SQL View for Fixed Asset Depreciation and Dynamics GP. And as she often does, she, inclu she includes the SQL language right within the blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the SQL query language from her blog, open up SQL Management Studio, paste it in there, create the view using this language, and then use that view in Smart List Builder to create a new smart list. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to copy this directly from her blog page here. She includes the comments, makes it easy to understand the query language. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go over, I'm going to, go over to SQL Management Studio log in and open up my company database here. Then I create a new query, hit new query, and I'll just paste Victoria's SQL script right in here. And then I will execute it. It completed successfully. And what it did is it created a new view. I can go down and see that view right here. It's towards the bottom. This is a new view right here, view underscore FA underscore depreciation. So one thing I want to do is make sure that in Dynamics, I'll go in there and I'll go to Smart List Builder. And what I want to do is make sure that I have access to that new view. So I'll go to Tool, Smart List Builder, Security, go to SQL Table Security. And I'm looking at this database here. I'm going to look at the views and make sure I have access to all those views that I want to create smart list on and I've got it right here. I'm going to hit OK. So now I'm just going to create a, sync, a simple smart list using Smart List Builder. So I'm going to go to Tools, Smart List Builder, open that up. Create a new smart list here. And I'm going to put it in the fixed asset series. And then I'm going to add a table. Specifically, I'm going to add a view. You can see my views here. Here's the view that I want. I'm going to select that. I'm going to add a particular key field. I'm just going to use the asset ID, make it simple. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to use as the default fields all the fields. So I'll just mark them all. And then I'm going to save that. And now I have a new smart list. So I go back into smart list. It's going to want to recreate the cache. I'll let it do that. Go into fixed assets. And here's my new smart list right here. So let's take a look, open that up. Here's my smart list right here. This is the one that this is the one based on the view that Victoria created. You can see here I've got for every asset I have each monthly depreciation amount that amounts here. So this is how you easily create a new smart list based on a SQL view. From here, let's have a little fun. Let's export this to Excel. So let's take a look at the information in Excel. Here it is. And let's just create a quick pivot table. I'm going to create a pivot table right in the spreadsheet here. And I'm going to show it by asset ID and have depreciation month across the top. I'm going to use depreciation year as a filter here. Let's pull in depreciation as the amount. Let's change the amount type. Change that to a sum. And let's just put the change the number format to currency. Looks good to me. So now I have a spreadsheet, pivot table specifically, that has all my information in by month, by asset. I've got the monthly depreciation. I've got a filter here. These are all the years in my system. Let's just select one year here. Select 2006. Now I have a ni nice report that shows by asset, my monthly depreciation. It totals it by month. And what I did, I took this 
information from SmartList, which I created using SmartList Builder, using a SQL view based on the query that I found on the internet. So this is an easy way to get information from GP based on expertise that's now available in many places on the internet. If you haven't done this yet, try it out. It's easy to take a SQL query language text query from an internet blog and post it into your system and make use of it in GP.